Greetings guys and gals, my name is Fred and after some health issues I am now officially back with Magal Lydia, actually Magal Lydia. And we are here with some blue swirly stuff, I can hardly remember what I came here to do. Alright, there was a quest and now we're here and then we found weird magic and also undead people. And um, yeah, <laughs> let's try to check this out. Uh, I remember they... Oh, gold. I remember they wanted to summoning someone, so um, uh, yeah. Hmm. Very weird. Oh, also, I didn't cover my mouse in this part again, so if you hear the clicks of my mouse, please tell me in the comments down below, and I will definitely change it up again. So what are we dealing with here? Probably very evil blue magic. You guys making meth? Uh, what's this? What is this? This burns. I know this. Oh, uh, okay. There is a dog up there, and some plants down here. Very intrigued. Whoa! There's also a dog down here. Oh. <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh, little damage. Wait, what actually hit me? Oh, probably an arrow. Right? Please don't kill me. It'd be kind of embarrassing. We just started this part. Oh, there's a mage there. Let's heal ourselves. Oh, there we go. Let's see if Lydia can do them. Okay, so that yeah, it's, it's the it's the dog up there. <laughs> Fire boats, go! Oh wow, Lydia dispatched oh. quite quickly of the damn no magical left. Heal. There we go. Unfortunately, my my mic stands. <laughs> uh, in front of my Magicka thing, so I might have to change that up. Otherwise I won't see what I don't have any Magicka for. <gasps> wow. <laughs> um, center flying, bleeding crown, spell tone, candlelight, robes of minor destruction, I won't take them. Because they are not worth anything. Sorry, it's as usual, as soon as I'm starting to record, something is bound to interrupt me. <laughs> Swear to god, I wasn't recording for like a whole week, and no one was bothering me, or checking on me for that matter, because, you know, I was <coughs> quite sick. Um, but as soon as I start recording, you know, everyone just wants to bother me for some reason. Lydia, kill that dragger, so we can move on. That restless dragger, to be exact. I'm very worried about the clicks, because... I mean, from my perspective, of course, they are very audible, but... Burn! Undead foe! I will send you back to the depths where... Depths... 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 depths to the Johnny Depths where you belong. <laughs> Whatever, man. If I can cringe, I don't care. Let's kill him. Okay, there we go. Uh, Wobbo. Gold. Okay, moving on. Why is it so hard to pronounce depths? Depths. Oh. Well, it's very. Yes. Yes. Return no. me to this realm. No, don't return to this realm. As our voices summon you, the blood of the innocent binds you, Wolf Queen. Do not in fact return to this realm. This realm is very annoying. What? what are you doing, you fools? You cannot bind me to your wills. Oh damn. You ants don't have the power to bind me. Surprise, surprise. Whatever they were summoning, it will not bend to their will, which you know I'm not surprised by. Because what else are summoners than a bunch of nerds? <laughs> this powerful entity is not be bound by a bunch of nerds. You nerds. Oh, damn. <laughs> Crap. You don't have to be getting angry with me. Foos! Foos! Yes, kill them, Lydia. Kill them all. <laughs> burn! Burn, you nerd. Nerd burn. Foos! No, foo. Wait. Foos! <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, healing. Healing. There we go. I could level up my restoration, or my restoration could level up, but no, I mean, come on. I'm feeling a lot of stuff. I feel very entitled to my, um, 
<laughs> well deserved restoration there we go. Apprentice Necromancer. Jazz Bay Grapes. Red Mountain Flower. Other stuff that I don't care about. Wait, I care about this though. Okay, we are at the top. Were they no we're not quite something is wrong. There is an intruder. What? No. No, no intruder here. It's just little old me. I belong here. I'm the gardener. I came to water the plant. I mean, just look at this. <laughs> Very believable. Oh, damn. Oh, it's a normal necromancer, but only with half health. And suddenly I was impaled by an icicle. <laughs> That's just how it goes. God damn it. Okay, necromancer strong. Noted. Let's just fast forward a bit. Okay, and here we are again. The nerd did the did the nerds did their nerd thing and you know the summoning is in full progress. Now, where was the necromancer lady? Something is wrong. There is an intruder. No. Okay, so we need to be Wait. Wait, the necromancers are fighting droggers. Why though? I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just... How come this didn't happen before? Or maybe it happened before while I was watering the plant. And that w that's why the necromancer barely had any health left. Well, now she's dead. Uh, silver necklace, I actually want to search the... Hmm, okay. Very disappointing loot. Okay, moving on. There's probably a boss enemy up there. No, you can't. Wait, he's reviving the necromancer. Oh my god, it's necromanception. Now the necromancer is just going to revive another necromancer. Yep, please attack, Lydia. Don't just stand there. Come on, help me. Help me out with this one. They're not fighting themselves, right? I'm 99% sure I'm going to die as soon as I... Hello. Hello? No! Please kill them, Lydia. Come on. Foos! Even help you. Wait, I have an Etronark. What am I waiting for? Etronark! Go! Haha! May the flames devour you. And also Lydia's arrows. Well, they can't devour you, but they can still hurt you very much. Mm. Fireball! Uh, fire! Okay. <laughs> Etronark doing good work. How could I have forgotten that I have this spell? Oh, that was the summon necromancer. No, it wasn't even one of the one of the real ones. I mean the summon ones are real ones as well, right? Fireball! Fireball is crazy effective, man. Okay. So we're still dealing with one enemy, which is probably the main one, right? Sure, alright, I got pretty sword gem. Right? That's the Probably a master necromancer. Ritual master. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Wait, she, she doesn't even... <gasps> no, don't attack me. Wow, she's not very strong. I would have imagined something stronger. But the thing they're summoning here is probably stronger, so... Please don't be summoning. Thing. <laughs> Aha, <laughs> you've summoned me. Oh wait, there's a book there. Wait, this oh, it's not a book, it's just a stand. I was imagining a book right there. New front three You know what would be crazy if you could actually have like six or seven of them? Just... <gasps> Kill the ritual master. Wait, why is there another enemy on my radar? Oh, it was a draugr. Okay, so wait, that's that was it? Swirly stuff flees. So I would assume whatever they've summoned is still very much summoned. Well, that's how it goes. Bunch of nerds in their nerd cave. Chest. Imperial Bow of Weariness. Okay, very nice. Elven gauntlets and gold. Moving on. Okay. 
Okay, I see, I see. Wolf Skull Cave. I'm wondering if we leave the cave, can we still see what they have summoned? Let's, let's... Here. I think, I ju I'm just assuming that this is the way we came in anyway, so there's nothing else to be had here. Um... Wait. Other way. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I distinctly remember the... The entrance. Okay. Oh, if we do it here, I don't... You scared me for a second there. I thought you were like an uber enemy at the end of this cave. Well, at the beginning of the cave, technically, so... Mammoths are a common sight in the tundra of Skyrim, and are often... okay. Oh, wow. So, no, we can't actually see. Wait a minute. Now, could you technically... Because there was a hole in the ceiling, right? Through which the spectre escaped. So, could we technically jump into the cave? Probably not, right? It's, <laughs> it's probably just the design. Yeah, I'm not going to check. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure it's just the design of the cave, so I don't think it correlates to the actual... Uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to. Ooh, a shrine of... I want to say Kunarat? Hmm. Let's see. No, it's Meridia. Oh, no, it's Meridia. Hey, we didn't discover the weird beacon yet. But this is the beacon cave, right? Yeah. Very beacony. Hey Meridia, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for her thundering voice. A new beacon touches the... No wait, a new hand touches the beacon, not a new beacon touches the hand. Anyway, so that's it for this part. I hope you enjoyed it and I also hope that you will be there in the next one. Until then, have a nice day, have a nice night and of course as always, have a nice time.